and he's got on too much drip to play basketball today. Them shoes ain't gonna let him do nothing. He can't move in them not today. You been a really broken yeah. ankle. Man, what you go today? See, take I saw my boots there. You gonna beat me in knee, Halo? Boy, yeah. Yeah, he gonna break them. <laughs> look how Halo looked at them boots. <laughs> you know, you wearing know, them Halo? That's some drip you wear right there. No, nah, you ain't messing with them. You messing with them Halo? <laughs> look how. <laughs> Check, 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 trap, check. We back in the building. Me and Halo podcast. Part nineteen. You, I don't, I don't think, I don't know if it's part nineteen. I've it, lost it's count because it's, it's part nineteen. It, uh, it's part nineteen. We've been doing it for a long time. He say part nineteen. I think it's maybe seventeen or eighteen. We have a nice wager. We got a bet on it. How much we betting? A hundred dollars. A hundred bucks. So obviously, we could have did it the easy way and just took our time, but we just we guessing right now. So I'm gonna say 17. I'm guessing 19. 19. All right, cool. All right, this is episode either 19 or 17, or 17, or 17 or somewhere in there. You know what I'm saying? And we just kind of catching up. We ain't, we ain't kicked it in a minute. You know what I'm saying? You growing up, it look like you getting tall. I remember when your feet barely, 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 barely could touch the ground. They look like they almost on the ground. Okay. <laughs> um, but you growing up, man. You looking good, healthy. High school, been. I got into a fight today. You you lying, bro? A fight? Why didn't I, you tell I mean, me? I always get into fights. I just don't tell you. <laughs> Why you don't tell me that? I thought I you just forget. Like when I get home, it must not be a real fight if you forgot. People don't forget fights. But like they they spread us apart after the fight. Like, no, like, they hold us, like, they separate us. Oh, so y'all won't fight. But so, so you mean to tell me Harmony is not the only one getting into fights at school? Because, see, we like, Harmony, you doing this, you doing this, but you you get into fights too, but we not finding out about them. So what did you fight for today? What was the reason? So we were playing football, right? Uh-huh. It got heated at football. So tell me why. They think they can just come and, like, be like, yeah, I'm better than you and stuff, right? And then they're like, you suck at football. And I'm like, nah, that's not going to slide. So the next play, Chosen gets an interception. Then I throw a pick. Then then it's heated, right? They're like, we suck. And we're like, you suck. And then here's the problem. So it's this fat dude that comes, right? Then it's a small dude that comes, right? Tell me why they me they pressing me and chosen, right? Mm-hmm. So like, tell me why one, like they like you suck, right? So they done said that like four or five times. Okay. And I just got tired of it, so. You weren't going for you it. You know Did, what had to happen. What, no, I don't know what happened. You no, looking? You, you gonna? You look kind of a little oh, weird. What happened? What? Why are you looking like that? What? Happened? No, I don't know what happened. What happened? Start fighting. Wow. Then they're breaking us up. Then so, the teacher, like, like we got into it a couple times, man. Are they older than y'all or something? Oh, they same grade? Same grade. And then it's like they had, like, like we got into it a couple times. Mm-hmm. But me and the fat dude got into it a couple times. Yeah. Then the fat dude and Chosen <laughs> had got into it. <laughs> okay. And, you know, Chosen's strong. Fat dude, strong. Okay. And, like, we playing football. It's two-hand touch. Chosen and the fat dude don't care nothing about that. They going to play tackle. The, yeah, they playing tackle. And, t- like, Chosen muscle just, like, bursting out of his body. And, like, <laughs> he, hit him he that just, hard. like, pushing him back. Okay. And, like, yeah. So, it, y'all got, so you got some smoke. Y'all got some smoke. And then he going to apologize after collaboratory. He apologized. What did he say? I'm sorry for, for talking to you guys or something? What did he say? Like he, he said sorry for doing all that. And I said, man, Chosen said, he said, Chosen said, okay, I wouldn't. If I was him, I would have said nope. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm glad you you defended. You took up for yourself. You didn't let nobody just run over you or nothing and push over you. Mm-mm. And you ain't cry or nothing or nothing like that. Okay. You was a gangster today. I give you that. You stood up for yourself. Okay. All right, I like that. And Chosen had your back. And you had Chosen back. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I'm happy about that. So besides that, have you been learning anything? Is there any, you know, been learning good stuff? He was fun. We played Moss with basketball. How do you do? How do you play Moss? <laughs> so, so they throw the ball up in the air, right? Mm -hmm. With a basketball. And like. Whoever get the the basketball. Yeah, I like That's a good idea. It's kind of like And then rebound. one time somebody tipped it, and I just like, it just landed in my hand. Okay. And I was like. So you you won a game of Moss, okay? I thought it then was, it was like me hit. and chosen. Then like, I don't really know who won that round. Like we both caught a couple of catches. Okay, chosen your buddy, huh? Y'all be y'all be running a terrorizing. Folks. I want to be in the same class next year, but I I don't know. You don't know? You got to speak it into it. existence. Be positive. If you think so, and he thinks so, y'all will be in the same class next year. Just got to think positive. Don't think negative about it, cause your thoughts are very powerful. Remember that. So you 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 fighting, but it's okay. You know that you know we do kids do that. Uh, you playing games in PE. I'm gonna one more time. I'm gonna ask you about actual learning, like education. Are you like? Yeah, so we did like. So it was yesterday and today. So yesterday, we actually looked up. Well, I looked up like it was who we wanted to like search about, and it was top three. And I picked Kevin Durant. Pele or something, soccer player then. Um, Pele? Pele, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah soccer. Then I picked this, um, I forgot his name, but yeah. And then I, then the next day we got our results, who we were going to um, search up, and I got Kevin Durant. Okay. And um, I was learning about Kevin Durant. You was worried about him? I was learning. About oh, learning about, learning. Yeah, Kevin Durant. Uh, where he you was born. In the same month as you, actually, it was September twenty. Oh, he's 9th, born. He's born in September. Nineteen eighty-eight. But, he, but he's a. If he's born in September, he's a. At the end of September, he's a Libra, um, like you and Harmony are, like because it's so close to October. Y'all have the same uh, zodiac sign, so that's cool. You didn't. You didn't. He was just in town the other day when your mom and I went to the game. Yeah, yeah he was in town. We hollered at him for a minute. Like, sometime I, Uncle Goat called me. Kevin Durant, yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, why you think you okay? Let's talk about your basketball season. You've been hooping this year, bro. Bro, I'm so proud of you. Last night, I'm in the club, Halo, in the club, but I'm watching videos from your game, just hypnotizing, man. You out there moving? You you doing some stuff, man? What you want to say about how how much you've grown this year on the court? Are you a new team or just where you at in life? What you want to say about that? I'm at a new team. I, I think. That me and like the only reason that we got better is because me chosen on it. Like I like all the boys on the team though. Uh, y'all got a good y'all got a good team. Good roster. Y'all got a good roster. That I think uh, I think a bunch of the little kids are very tough out there. They add they add that toughness to y'all. Y'all beat the ten year olds. That was the ten year old crew y'all played last night. I mean the night before but last. Well, we had another ten year old team that was. That ten year old team beat y'all. Yeah. But see, that's making y'all better, cause this time the new ten year old team came and y'all beat y'all beat the crap out of them. You get what I'm saying? I think it's just because they they are sorry team. They were sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, as long as you got that heart, though, it don't matter the age, right? You got you got that heart, and that toughness. Yeah. A little willpower. It don't matter how how big or how old they are, cause you too much. You want to stay and play with the fourteen year olds. I was like, hey man, you we going home. You got a minute before you get up there. Okay, so school going good. What about your, uh, your, 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 your girlfriend life? You got a, still got your girlfriend? I do. You still got We're a girlfriend? We're not going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about her. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, we move on to the next. My bad. We ain't going to talk about your girlfriend. We talked about school. We talked about sports. Um, We talked about, huh, what else? Every, every, everything. You got a, Al, you have a. A guest, another guest on your show. Man, you're doing pretty good with your podcast. You got another guest on your show. Um, I don't know, you know, I know this person. I don't know what, you know, I kind of know why you, you know this person and why you're interested in this person. But I think it's a, maybe a cool, a good time to bring the person out here to the me and Halo. You okay? 
<laughs> I guess it's a good time to bring our guest out here. Would you like to introduce our guest? Introducing. Uh huh. Meet something something. <laughs> so you you got your guest out here. Uh, one of the up and coming young black actors in our community. You know what I'm saying? We love we love what he stands for. We love what he represents. Uh, really like a little brother, like a nephew to me, man. I, I like to see Meech. Uh, I'm actually on uh, BMF this season as well. March 1st, we, we, we start March 1st, right? You see me yeah, say we. March 1st. We, we, right? Yeah, <laughs> we. We, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you made me. Introducing the character Stacks, man. Yeah, Stacks. Yeah, man, it was, it was fun being on there with you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Man, it was fun. You helping me getting through it, boy. Sharing yeah. that trailer was the best idea in the world. It was the best thing in the world, sharing that trailer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. you remember Stacks? Yeah, that's you. That's me. <laughs> you remember when you came to set, you know? You had fun? You came to set and got to see everything? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was on there. I used to make them try to, like, read lines to me and everything, man. You know? I can say that acting is not as easy as some people think, you know what I'm saying? And I know you said after the first season, it was oh, it was all, it, it was downhill for you. You got it, you got it yeah, in the once, bag. Once I got them butterflies on my stomach and nerves, I was good, I was off and running. I so, wanted to be the best. So you, this is your this is your career path. This is what you ain't doing, this, like you ain't trying to do nothing else. No, this, I ain't trying to do nothing else. You an actor, for I'm real. Actor. Before I was trying to find my lane and find myself, but I found it now. This it? I'm comfortable doing it, and I wanna, I wanna, um, you know, hopefully, after we finish doing BMF, you know, I don't know how many seasons we gonna go, but hopefully we go like ten or more, like the Sopranos. But I wanna show people, you know, I can't just play my father. Okay. You know, Fifty put me in acting classes with Tasha Smith, and she was teaching me how to be. They call it a feather in the wind. Play anything. Okay. So that's yeah. what I want. You know, go outside that box. Man, so Tasha Smith, that's man, shout out to Tasha Smith. I ain't gonna lie. I had her come to my Cali house and help me too yeah, with the role. She cold. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I help yeah, she cold, man. I learned a lot about her. She got a twin. Yeah. She just sister. telling me everything, boy. So she was she definitely made me feel comfortable and I definitely yeah, plan on Tasha. sitting back down with her. Um now you had uh like somebody uh that was out there with us that was kinda helping on your day to day. Yeah, my acting coach. Your acting coach? Yeah, shout out Jamal, man. Yeah. But I, I love to keep my acting coach on set with me because I don't never want to get that, you know, that big head. You know, I always want to stay grounded and I always remember how I started and keep doing the exercises, you know, before you get to acting because it's not just about on film. You know, you got to exercise like riding a bike. For real? Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was cool yeah, to have yeah. somebody there every day to kind of just shadow you and everything. Yeah, read the lines with you, all that. Uh, all right, it's Black History Month. And, you know, one day we'll be celebrating Meech as being one of our great beloved actors, you know what I'm saying, during this time in February. We all we all agree that Black History, you know, should be longer than a month. But, Halo, <laughs> what's Black History Month mean to you as far as, you know what I'm saying, school and you know what you learning what what well, what well, well well we didn't learn about the person now i'm about to say rosa parks y'all learned about rosa parks no but like I oh you just you just and like she refused to get off the back of the bus oh yeah okay yeah. Yeah. why is that interesting to you though why is it so it's just <laughs> because like she was the only black person on the bus and just like what she stood for and just like how she could have probably got killed or in trouble but she still just like like y'all say stood on stood on business <laughs> that's cool that's cool um black history month to me is obviously us celebrating some of our black heroes past present and you know what i'm saying and really the future you know what i'm saying and how we how far we you know obviously come and how we shape the culture and everything um, you have something that you've been working on, right? You and, you and moms yeah. on, on the black history type yeah. scale, right? What you got? The, the Halo and the HBC of... Start over and say it I again. Mean, Halo and the ABC of HBCU. Okay. And, where, and what's that? 
It's a historical black colleges. The cars are about. That's what the cars are about. Look, give, give your boy one. That's what's up. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, Damn, thank you, Halo. That so Halo has started his. He's already been an entrepreneur, obviously, but he started his journey, actually, yeah. uh, with these ABC. ABC. HBCU. You can get them on Amazon. Yeah. You you got a trap on Amazon? You selling stuff on Amazon? Yeah. Man, I'm proud of you. So they are ABC cars, but they're about historically black colleges. Yeah. That's 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 a dope idea. That's good. So it's a true learning tool. Um, shout out, definitely shout out to my wife Keisha. Uh, shout out to Halo as well. But these are, I think, very creative flashcards. And I've obviously I've been lucky enough to check them out. And they are basically ABC cards with the historical black colleges. Um, that start with the actual letter. And it's just, it's informative, it's fun. And it's something that we definitely want to try to get into every household in America, not just the black household. Um, I attend a, a HBCU. Um, my wife attend a HBCU. Uh, our parents, our parents, aunts. Uh, I think my even my grandparents did. So we we got the HBCU in our blood, and so I think this is a good uh, a good tool to just learn and, and something that we use to promote you know learning in this thing. But that's for all the colleges. Yeah, yeah, the black colleges. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, you know that's nice. Yeah. Which one? Do you go to black college? I never went to a black college. I went to UNLV for a minute. Yeah, UNLV, that's out University there in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I ain't well, know I you went to go to U. Yeah, I went um, there for like a couple of semesters. Where you um, want to go? Where you want to go? Um, I think if I go to college, I might go to like UCLA. Yeah. Oh, because out there in California. Or yeah. like, isn't it one like, or like, um, isn't it like USA, like something like that? USC where Bronny go? Yeah. You funny. <laughs> A boy being in California black or Cali, or a black school. Yeah. <laughs> a black school you like? A black school. Morehouse. Morehouse, that's that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. All right, you got, or, or if not Morehouse, oh, you going straight to the league. One of, one, of, one of those. You tell me. I can't tell you if you're going straight to the league. You got to have that willpower in your mind. You can't, if you say it, you got to. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> huh? can't, can't you be in college and be in the NBA? Um, you can't play both. If you're in the NBA, you can go back and take classes in college, but you can't like be in college. You can like take your class and still graduate if you want to. And if you're in college, you know you obviously can't play in the league until you finish that. If you're real yeah. good, you can go from high school, and they'll let you, you know you. Yeah, they you want you to play right? one year now. By the time you grow up, they might skip it. But now you have to either go to the G League for one year or college for one year. Then go to the league if you really like that. It's on you. What's the G League? G, my, you know, my team I got, like, uh, it's like a minority team for the pros. Kind of okay. like baseball got minor leagues, yeah. so they got it in basketball as well. And they'll let you either be a two-way player where you can play for the pros in that team or just a straight G League player okay. where you just hone in on your skills and hopefully get an opportunity to be called up to be a pro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's that part of it. Uh, we got BMF coming, like I say, March 1st. I am on, you know, more than one episode. So, you know what I'm saying, check me out. I plan on doing more acting and also being behind um, the camera as well. I'm just very interested in this whole process, man. I just was so stimulated by what was going on on set. Man, I called my whole family up there. You know what I'm saying? I had them helping me um, get prepared for it. Uh, like I said, I said I was, you know, acting coaches just trying to get there. So, you know, for me being, uh, a talented musician. I'm looking forward to seeing what else I can add to my portfolio uh, or to my bag of tricks. And hopefully it could be some of this acting thing, man. Like I said, man, I love to see that boy do his thing, man. Um, How Pop's doing, man? He doing good, man. When you talk to him? I talked to him the other day, like a couple days ago. He just got transferred to this new facility. Um, okay. Uh, Coleman. Okay. Coleman Low. It's, uh, it's like a few, um, few minutes out of Orlando like three hours from Miami, uh, but it's a low facility and, and that mean he coming home. Yeah, that's, he getting, yeah, he getting closer, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully I get a core link soon, 
yeah. from a dog he always reach out and say something and uh it's a wonder that you know i knew your dad and you sitting right here and you know we all consider your daddy a legend you know what you consider your dad halo a legend yeah <laughs> you rock with me like that that's right yeah. if they had to do a show on me you you you'll play me you you can play me. How how would you play me? How how would you do? Give me a give me a scene right. How would I how I act? How I act? Show me how I act. You can sit right there. What would I? Do? How I talk? How I move? How I act? Give me an example, killer. What's up, killer? <laughs> <laughs> how you do, hello? What's up, killer? <laughs> what I do, killer? What's up, killer? Man, I got to do something. Man, that's the only range I got. I got to step it up. That's all I got in my bag. That's it? <laughs> Anything else? That's about it. Look at love. <laughs> Why you looking like that? That's how I be looking to? That's how you do. Bro, to tell my gangster. You want to tell my gangster about to talk like that? <laughs> Damn, bro. That's, that's you. Hey, up. man. Hey, man. Hey, you just never know what these kids gonna grow up to be, man. You just never know, man. That boy having Rolexes, good, good bracelets on, Cuban bracelets. Okay. Yeah, sure. dude, we're having this way. Court side at the game. I see, man, one more thing before we get out here. I see you got a, uh, man, I come on the court. I'm really, I'm in the owner's lounge the other day. I, I see, well, Halo, they like, he on the court. By the time I get to the court, you doing some old secret handshake with with Trey Young. What's, what's up with that? How you come up with that? <laughs> Huh? I just, I just did it. You just did it. Yeah. And he went, he bit, he went for it. Y'all, so y'all got a handshake. Man, I gotta check y'all out. I caught the end of. Look like it's some swag in there. Okay. Right. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 uh. Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Shout out my boy Trey Young. He always supporting you. And another hawk that's supporting you as well and want to come to your game is who? Dejounte Murray. What? That's what's up. Dejounte Murray say he gonna come to the game. Really? You you like <laughs> you happy about that? What you gonna do if he come to the game? Man, I ain't gonna lie, it don't matter who come. You've been doing your thing. I'm so proud of you, boy. I'm so happy for you. You gonna still just play how you normally play, huh? Mm -hmm. I noticed now you get M ones, you just act like it ain't nothing no more. You used to be doing all these little things. You just go to the free throw line and hit it. You don't even you what just be real humble and cool now. What what what, what position you play, Brett? Oh, hello? Huh? What position you play? I'll, I'll be point guard for a second, then shooting guard, guard for a second, you, then. You just play everything. Yeah. I seen you on your daddy story scoring. I seen you scoring on your daddy story. You posted your Instagram. I, I seen tell you, I'll be posting, boy. You say you look, you who? 2.0? LeBron. You LeBron 2.0. I'm going to call, <laughs> I got to call him and tell him what you said, boy. I can't believe you tried my boy like that. 2.0, that means you're going to be mo. Actually, no, nah, never mind. You can't be scared. You got to stand on it. Whatever you're going to be, you got to stand on it. Just say you're going to be better than You want to be better than him, though. I believe that. I already am better than him. At eight years old, I don't know how good he was at eight, but you're a pretty, pretty good basketball player at eight years old. I'm going to already that. better than LeBron. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm you sure. already know this is a Me and Halo uh, podcast. This is episode. Yeah. Because we don't even know. Yeah. Thanks for having me on here, Halo. We got, we You're got, welcome. we got the, we got little, we got little big Meech on here. You know what I'm saying? Big things coming up, acting, going on. Anything you want to ask Meech before we get out of here? No. You good? Yeah. You always said you wanted him on your show. You came on set. Oh, you yeah. Um, nah. You good? Yeah. <laughs> well, I challenge him to one of you one. You want to play, man. Meech got, well, Meech got on too much drip to play <laughs> basketball today. Them shoes ain't going to let him do nothing. <laughs> He can't move in them, not today. You be on a really move broken here. ankle. Man, what you go you today? Got, Take him. my boots there. You gonna beat me in knee, Halo. Boy, yeah. Yeah, he gonna break them. <laughs> look at Halo looked at them boots. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you man, wearing them, Halo? Them some drip you'll wear right there? Nah, you ain't messing with them. You messing with them, Halo? <laughs> look at <how> you. <laughs> you messing with them, Halo? Why is it? He got the drip there, <laughs> hey, man. Young Michael be having it on, Jack. You ain't messing with that one. <laughs> nah, not nah. my type. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, man. I don't care what you Hey, why when I left that money by your mama bed, what, she told me you thought it was your. How would you think it's yours? Huh? 
I was wondering why you text me like, you left my mom some money. I'm like, what they got to do? I was, I was wondering what you was talking about. Got that check. <laughs> what? She told me you check. got that check. And daddy, let me tell you one thing that ain't fair. You going to go to the Super Bowl and act like you wasn't going to tell me? Yeah, I done found out. Bro, you are tripping. You cannot. The Super Bowl is in Vegas. It's on a Sunday. You go to school on a Monday. I ain't. I, you ain't gonna. Well, I can miss school. You can miss school, but still, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I can't to leave Vegas. I have to drive. They they won't even let jets take off. My jet take off to Tuesday, because they say it's over a thousand jets coming in there. So I can't even leave when I want to leave. I'm gonna have to drive to L.A. to leave. But I just got some tickets because I called a coach of the 49ers. I'm like, I need tickets. So he gave me one. Then I had to buy the other ticket. And so that's two tickets. Me and you can't go really nowhere but the Hawks game. You know, if I go with something like that, I'm going to need some kind of security so people uh, let me watch the game. So I'm going to take more with me. But if another ticket come up, man, I think we, we need two tickets because you're going to need somebody to watch you. I'm going to be watching the game. But I don't care because I'll be here at Chosen. Don't you got a game, sir? Go come home after the game. So? You ain't hurt my feelings. I'll be in Vegas, boy. Popping bottles. Kicking it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better not lose that's while I'm where gone. Your head and that's why. And that's why I'm rooting for the Chiefs. <laughs> wow. Bro, that's low. Are you serious? <laughs> bro, that's the most low down. You got to find somewhere to stay. You might going to stay with Chosen. <laughs> Vote, Actually, yeah. I'm voting for the 49ers. No. So today we have made a guess about who's going to win the Super Bowl. And I guess that the um, 49ers are going to win by one. Okay. Whew. I thought you traded, turned on me like that. Well, boy, boy, it's rough, bro. It's rough, <laughs> bro. Wait till you get one. Like, Wait till you get one, bro. Listen, y'all, it's time for this spelling bee. So it's time to get hype. Time for a spelling bee. Yep. So let's get it. Father. Yes. How do you spell calendar? Calendar? C A L E N D A R. As I look on the calendar, I have to check my schedule to see what shows I have coming on up or something, you know. Let me check. How do you spell <coughs> a parent? A parent, okay. A parent, like an animal parent? A parent. A parent. A parent. Yeah. A parent. A parent. Like, like parents. apparently. Like parents. A parent. Oh, a parent. A parent, yeah. A P P A R E N T. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Correct I. Correcto. Correcto. Are you smarter than a second grader? All right, me. Where was Black Wall Street located? Black Wall Street, New York? No. Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Got me, Hilo. Mm, that was a good one. All right, what else you get? My dad. Uh huh. I can't get it. Yeah, it was like Tulsa or something. They burnt the city down. Yeah. Something. They had like their own community. They had everything going on. And, you know. And next. Hmm? Daddy, who was the first black woman to be vice president? Oh, Kamala? Yeah. Kamala, 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 Kamala Harris. Yeah, man, I got that, man. <laughs> I wonder who's gonna be our new president, Halo. Who you think gonna be the new president? Trump. Trump. <laughs> you like Trump, Halo? You don't like him? <laughs> Would you just see him being the he, president he again? Look, he huh? look off. He what? He off. He off? Yeah. Well, why you think he gonna be president? Because everybody just voted for him to be president. People going to vote for him? Yeah, everybody just voted for him. Mm. But if you had a vote, you would not vote for him? I would vote for him. Joe Biden. All right. You're saying he want to be president. All right, man. Episode 17, 18, or 19, or 20. We're going to keep doing this. It's me and, and my son. 19. All yeah. right. Whoever lose. They, whoever loses got to pay up a hundred, so we'll figure that out. But you no, know, it's actually episode twenty-one. <laughs> I just got, I just got heard. You just heard it. What yeah. is look? Man, you so well. Well, none of us get the money. Whatever it is, we're gonna keep doing this. 
because this is what we like to do. We like to catch up. We like to spend time together. We love to have guests on here. You know what I'm saying? This is no other better way to spend father son time. And we appreciate y'all checking in, tuning in. And you know what I'm saying? Staying locked in with us. This is me and Halo's podcast. We appreciate y'all. It won't stop here. It won't ever stop. No, no stop. It'll never stop. No. Yeah. True. True. <laughs>